channel on YouTube, Yash yeah, here with another vlog. Um, this is going to be a short one. I'm kind of on edge. Um, this is more of an everything or nothing. I went to the shop the other day. My car is um, going through a lot of blow by. Originally, um, I was having some knock issues on wide open throttle. So it had me a little bit, all right, so what's the issue? I thought it was the map sensor. Perhaps I had an issue with that a year ago when I had a check engine line that I posted up a video a while back. I cleaned it. Um, I never changed it. So um, I, my PCV valve was cracked. I replaced that. Um, but unfortunately, my airflow uh, learning was at 25 on the Pro Tune, and I went to the, um, and this is on idle, and I went to the, um, the Cobb uh, 91 Octatune again that I was originally rolling with so now the idle is at um, roughly between 10 to 15 so that's that's better the ideal is to be at one obviously at idle but it's it's relatively high um, I've, I've changed the math sensor I spent 200 on that um, but I was informed you know before the math uh, changing that um, more than likely my engines going so you know I have several options I can do a, get a motor rebuilt you know that's starting around 7k so I've already started to go fund me because I don't just have 7k sitting around um, twitch come to sub if, if it's a worst case scenario um, I'm, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with the car I might uh, I still have to uh, make a make some executive decisions here so it's it's hitting me really hard after all the work that I've done into this vehicle but again it's a it's a Subaru and these are some common issues unfortunately these things aren't built the greatest um, and I don't even beat my car up so just as the FYI I monitor my oil every other day um, I haven't neglected anything on the car I'm not the most intelligent individual when it comes to uh, knowledge on cars, but I've gone to plenty of the forums. I've read a lot of material, um, but you know, it's it's kind of scary once you hear someone inform you that hey, um, so your motor it's on its last legs, and you need to you know you have some decisions to make. And I don't I don't know. Do I want to just go get a WRX STI? Obviously, a new one. I'm not gonna go with a used car again or do I just want to you know go ahead and get this motor redone because a lot of you are like hey it's the Chun Baroon you know and I've over I've had this car for two years now and <laughs> it's, it's crap on 86,000 miles timing belts spark plugs you know um, everything else that really comes uh, the, the pads rotors uh, replace some of the calipers um, but it's really kind of a a scary situation there. It's like, wow, even right now I'm just driving thinking, wow, my motor could give out. But uh, basically what I was informed is that, and I, I guess this ended up being a long video, what I was informed is that if I notice some type of cylinder misfired and it's, it's basically over, or when my oil really starts to just disappear. And yeah, it's... It's hitting, it's hitting hard to home. There's, there's a lot of other things going on too that are, that's really, it's, I've been hit by a double whammy. Um, I'm not going to discuss what the other thing is, um, but let, let's just say this is, this is the second thing all within the same week. So it's kind of, kind of hitting me really hard. So if you guys, I'm gonna have that GoFundMe link posted down below, and we'll just go from there. So. If you enjoyed this video, because I know, I know I'm not enjoying talking about it, but if you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and please help me out on the GoFundMe. Um, and that's pretty much it. You guys have a good one.